All right, y'all. We're getting ready to go pick up JB. Woo! Look, I keep for my vlogs. I know have been boring because I keep forgetting to take y'all with me to do stuff. Ain't like I'm going out doing a lot, but I just keep forgetting about my camera. Y'all have to excuse this, this drive there too, child. I'm gonna try to take my time, but. So y'all, it's been crazy still, crazy busy. School started, which is good. Um, work has been busy for me. Going through some things at my job to where I am so busy. And I told y'all that little fiasco I had where, um, or maybe y'all don't know, can y'all see me? It's probably a little dark. The little issue I had when I was on PTO and we had to leave the freaking hotel to go home. That's ridiculous. My husband will pay $400 a night. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm laughing because it's disturbing. Y'all, y'all can't see me. It's shaking. I'm gonna wait and, until I get up here. Can y'all see me? Girl. I'm up here picking up JB. Whew. Um, Y'all, I'm trying to look up what's the value of our home now because now that the interest rates for these houses have gone up the investors have stopped stacking up these houses it's not crazy like it used to be because on our side of our road uh, where we live at in forney about there's about five houses for sale and they've been for sale they, their for sale signs have been out there for about three months and that's rare that's very rare houses are selling fast like i told y'all when we put our house up our house sold within four days in Phoenix when we put, you know, our house up. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm too afraid. My husband was like, I don't even want to know what our house is going for. But our house value possibly has increased. Let me see. Let me put in my address. And he's still on my nerves, y'all. My husband, I think, regrets moving to, not moving to Texas, but moving to Forney. I think he, re he regrets moving. But this is the thing, like... I don't go back and forth with my husband. Depend, I, let me take that back. Okay, hold on. Depending on what it is, I won't go back and forth because I did say at least twice, you know, when we were looking for a house and considering, you know, moving back to Texas, I said, shouldn't we look and see how things are? And he's like, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. With the what, we got to go ahead and sell our house and get a house while the market's hot. And so I was like, okay. Then brought it up again when we were looking at one my no my best friend who lives here in Forney and she was like you guys the infrastructure is horrible oh yeah I'm spitting she's like you may want to choose another place because the infrastructure of Forney is horrible again I don't know what that means but now I get what she's talking about so you know with the inflation and everything going up he showed me how much the water bill was and he's like the water is the, why is the water so high like we didn't even pay this much for why so first of all we're in the middle of a damn drought granted it started raining this week but i'm like why but at the end of the day we paid half of our house up front we put down half of it up front so i'm like <sighs> so but it's with all these extra expenses too, you know what I mean, with JB School, and now we're having to look for a dyslexic, a dyslexic therapist, and then we're paying, well no, we're not paying for therapy therapy, so um, my baby's still, and he's still seeing a psychiatrist, which she, girl, she told me she's having knee surgery. I'm like, okay, you know what, you need, you need to go ahead and get that, get that done. So, you know, 2022 is, is, is the unexpected year. Um... So our house now is worth almost four hundred thousand dollars. Yep, four hundred thousand, and we paid three three sixty. Yeah, yeah, we paid three sixty for it because we paid. Um, we offered twenty twenty thousand more than what was listed. And anyway, I'm telling y'all my business, girl. But anyway, um, it's it's getting fall time. My skin looks horrible. It feels horrible. I need to get it together. I need to contact my girlfriend, my best friend, and be like, we need to meet up. I finally am feeling a little bit 
wiggle room with my finances. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. So you guys, it's Friday, and I actually have a couple of errands to run. Girl, this Lou Ross looking <laughs> good golly, Miss Molly. That's why I'm serving you with this hair like this, child. Let me see if I can put this camera down somewhere, y'all. You know what, hold on. So y'all, I've been up since 5.30, which is a little late for me. Um, if you see any smoke, I have my diffuser going with lavender oil. I'm slowly getting back to my self-care mode. Um, Cause as, as you guys know, you've been following me for a while, for a year, we've been busy with things, with the move, getting ready for the move and moving interstate is just such a, a draining thing and just everything that's involved in that and finding a new school and transferring schools um getting special education for jb outside of the private school because private school does not provide that y'all so we're, we're i'm doing that now but anyway the point is is that i'm getting to a point now to where now i'm going to start to incorporate in some self-care stuff I think that it's very important, regardless of if you have a family, everyone has a family, but regardless of if you're a mom or not, taking care of yourself is extremely important. Baby, my, I took my blood pressure a couple of times this week, it spiked. And I know a lot of that is because I'm running around, I'm not relaxing, I'm eating a lot out. I, I've eaten a lot. Um, and that's just you know sodium so and i'm not used to that you guys i probably would typically eat out once a week but this week i've eaten out almost almost every day my um calling to to get dyslexia tutor for jb that's my main goal today and baby let me tell you something mr biden thank you baby but let me tell you something told me you guys before joe biden signed this new student loan forgiveness which is gonna wipe out $10,000 from most of us. Cause no, I don't think most of us make over 125,000 a year. <laughs> we don't, you know, thank God, but we don't. Um, don't say, girl, I need, to, I need to restart my computer. Hold on y'all. So what's the point? Um, before any of that even happened, did y'all see the student loan forgiveness uh, there was this this chart going around about student loan forgiveness for for profit organizations, for profit colleges, and I went to a for profit college to get my master's. WIU that was previously owned by Apollo Group, which is the company I used to work for, and they also used to own University of Phoenix. Apollo Group is basically non-existent. University of Phoenix, they have gone through the mud, baby. So something told me. I had the application, I was doing it all, getting everything together uh, a couple of months ago, and then I just got busy, and I got busy with life. When he, I've been trying to get on there, but since he, Mr. Biden, signed this stuff about the student loans, the websites are flooded. I can't even get on there. And matter of fact, I will probably won't be able to get on there for a good two weeks. I don't know why my application is in there it's saved but i need to go ahead and do everything and submit it if i were you guys this is just just a recommendation i'm going to do this too make sure that you submit if you went to a for-profit school college make sure that you submit for that loan forgiveness i'm going to try to include the link at the bottom but good luck because i can't even <laughs> make sure you submit your application before october because i have a feeling come october it may even be a hard time to do it now. Now, one thing I am going to do is that, you know, I was ready. I did my budget to start repaying my loan, and I'm on an income-driven ID or payment plan, which is nothing. My kick to, you know, get out of debt, um, I'm feeling a certain type of way because it, it is what it is, you guys. I ain't going to bother y'all with this too much, but y'all know how it is. It's hard to pay off debt and save. I'm saving money. I'm saving something, but I wish I was saving more. Um, but I need to stop giving myself a hard time because with me speaking to older people, they tell me they're like Vivian, you're better than you're better than a lot of people because some people know that they need to be doing better and they just don't even they don't even try. So at least I'm trying. So let me set this camera down, y'all. I'm gonna go get pick up Jamie soon. They're having something at school today called Transformation Day. Hey you guys, we are out shopping. We are in Terrell, Texas. Let me get out the car, y'all. 
Let me tell you something. This little shopping area, and I know it's new because I don't remember seeing this. This is a Texans dream. I'm not even you're not from Texas. So on this side, we got Ross, Hobby Lobby, Ulta. What's down there, Boo Boo? Marshalls is down there. We got Verizon. We're at T-Mobile for food. We got. Uh, water, <laughs> water burger, raisin cane, Chick Fil A, Freddy's, Dairy Queen. We got Olive Garden. We got Texas Roadhouse. Way, way, way over there. <laughs> Y'all, my allergies are messing up. You probably can't see it. That big old sign way down there looks like a big old Bucky, Bucky's, Bucky's. Which we don't really care for Bucky's, but Bucky's is really big out here in Texas. So let's just go ahead and go into Hobby Lobby. <laughs> but these are fifty percent off. Uh, what is this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we definitely gotta. Oh, we can look around, but I definitely want to get a rug. I could literally spend hours in this store. Look at this. This is my. Oh, this is so cute. Pray for us. Wait a minute. How much is this? Not for fourteen dollars. I'm thinking about redoing my um, fireplace with this type of decoration. This is really cute to me. <laughs> I want a globe. I want all this. So this stuff is 50% off. I want to kind of get one of these to go where my, um, I think I may get one of these y'all. You know what? I'm going to get these y'all. These are cute. I'm going to get these. Yeah, I get these. These are cute. I want a mirror in our bedroom, y'all. I want like a um oh this would be cute to go above our bed. How much is this? Thirty dollars? See, I need a coupon. Look y'all, my budget is just twenty dollars, but I'm thinking about something like this above the bed. Or even that. Won't that match our bedroom? That's so cute. Mm hmm Now, if I have my she room, which I don't have anymore, all over this stuff, all over it. This stuff is 50% off, y'all. Hey, you need to chill out. I can put you on camera and show you how you act when you don't get what you want. This is right here. JB's making breakfast this morning. Yeah, excuse my kitchen. I typically clean throughout. I don't have a set time and day to clean. I just clean. <sighs> it's been a little challenging now. JB, what are you making, baby? Pancakes. Pancakes. He's making himself some pancakes. Let me see what this looks like. Five minutes of pancakes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, he, he made them way too thick. Mm-hmm. Like, I made them like Brian made them, but I made Uh-huh. So this is some of my fall. De I know, girl. I've already been doing it. Some of the fall decoration I put up here. This is for fall. I think for... Boo -boo, do you, where did he go? This is for fall. I almost want to do a different type of decoration for Christmas. Does that make sense? So I'll keep this up. JB, what do you think? Should we keep this up the entire time or change it up when it gets like December? And then do hey, I... Uh, you should change it up when it gets December. Like yeah. You, you should put like an angel. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I'm going to do all Christmas should, stuff. But you should put like... If we do have Christmas stuff. That's what I'm talking about. I mostly, I mostly do fall harvest because anyway i'm not gonna even go down that pipe but um i am gonna do christmas i think so i think this is why i said we need to, have to go get some christmas that's what i'm talking about this is why i said when we, we go to hobby lobby i need to be picking up stuff every oh by the way jb i purchased us some christmas um pajamas and i'm so excited taryn's gonna be like did santa come uh-uh don't say that so look my <laughs> But look, baby, the Christmas pajamas I got us, guess what they look like? What? They have black Santa on it. I cannot wait. Child, those kids at your kids school are going to be so confused. JB, you better not say anything because some of them may still believe in Santa Claus. And don't tell them that Santa was black. Oh. Uh, JB, again, this is a little bit of fall decoration. Um, JB's fish is over here. But I need for you to feed Phoenix. His name is Phoenix. Um, you have to excuse the table. I'm doing my planning stuff, but this is what I have so far. I have, I know y'all, I already have this and I got some little bitty scarecrows. Again, this is more fall harvest like stuff.
y'all look at this rain oh lord they wanted it we got it look y'all um a couple of people it's been raining off and on for a good week but here in Forney, it just started raining like this real bad now. So look, y'all, um, a couple of people were complaining about there being rats in the backyard here. And I'm like, oh, hell no. See, my neighbor has seen some mice over there. But yeah, as y'all can see, I keep this area is pretty clean. Look, it, we don't have a lot of stuff back here. I do that on purpose. But the thing that got me all nervous is these moles are underground. So that means if I have a freaking garden out here like I want to, these bastards can come up. Okay, let me not say that. These things can come up from underneath the ground and eat the dang on food. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. I am up early. <sighs> y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'll just speak up. I'll just let this stuff fall to the, no, I'm not gonna let this fall. <laughs> If it has numbers, I'll let it fall. But if it doesn't, I need to come in here and make sure I put it in the right. Nope. That means I need to stay in here and make sure that I put this in the right order. You guys, it's been a... This week, work week, was not so bad. But I'm not going to be talking about work all the time. Because I know y'all, this that is not exciting. But that's life. I work. I have a job. I have multiple jobs. Meaning, you know, I have a wife. I took on some consultant work. So, um, have y'all heard of this stuff? This new thing called quiet quitting? Let me tell you something. That is very dangerous. <laughs> you want to quiet quit. And I guess the whole definition of quiet quitting is basically doing their bare minimum to just get by at your job. There is nothing about me. That is not even my personality to just do the bare minimum or just do my job and that's it that is not even fulfilling if you feel that way you may want to look for another job like honestly life is too short to be in a position like that which is why i'm i'm kind of in a position right right now where my job is not fulfilling me it really isn't but i'm not doing the bare minimum just because it's not fulfilling me just because i didn't get it let me tell you something 10 years in it i haven't gotten a promotion I'm still going to do the best. I'm still going to be do above and beyond for my job. Does that make sense? So, baby, I have been trying uh, actively looking for a dyslexia therapist or tutor for JB. I don't know what makes. <sighs> Granted, I don't have experience in childhood education but i have 20 years in the game and education in general 20 years 20 years and most of these therapists or tutors are only providing online services so it makes it challenging for him to do anything online. So I even asked him when I first, I found some people, of course, there's a whole company called Dyslexia On Demand where they do everything online. I've seen, I've seen, uh, what are you talking about? We had a Zoom call and I've had, you know, calls with multiple dyslexia therapists and they all are doing it online. And I'm like, so you expect for my child to go to school seven, six, seven hours, come home and jump online for another 45 minutes to an hour and do that three times a week. I don't even have that. I guess my whole point is right now, I am printing out a 30 page scope um, for the art and, I know I'm not pronouncing this right. It's the OG. Those of you who are familiar with dyslexia, dyslexia you know about it. Oh, I've been having to do it myself, you guys. I'm just very, just very frustrated how things have, damn COVID, <laughs> in a matter of a few years, the education system has seriously plummeted. Hey, 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 you guys, how you doing? It's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Now, typically I do cut up these videos into two videos, but I don't have time, y'all, like, I'm not even posting as much. Um, 
Y'all should know that. Let me show y'all some stuff that I got for JB and I. Y'all, this stuff is so cheap. This is supposed to be a sweater. Look how thin this is. I can wear this, right? Can I wear this? Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me see if I can wear this. Hold on. Girl, if you don't get your big ass up. <laughs> this is for JB. Yeah, I'm sorry y'all to vent about my work, but I don't talk to anybody else. I was um, planning on hopefully sometime spending some quality time with my best friend, but she is busy too. I got a phone case for JB. Now let me see if it can fit his. Cause if it doesn't, child, he don't have a fit. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh, it don't fit. Let's see if it'll fit. Hold on y'all. I'm gonna see if it fits a This is cute. Something. I, I, now I'm learning, or well not learning, I always get his stuff a size up because this child, Jamie's almost 100 pounds. He's a big boy. Yeah. Girl, get it together. All right. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my drink. I fixed myself a little cocktail. I can't finish, but I'm a lightweight. Oh, I may have to stop by actually and get some cranberry juice before I go pick up boo boo. That's what I'll do. I've been avoiding Tom Thumb here though, because there's a man there that child when he sees me, he starts smiling and giggling and of course he's an islander. Nothing against islanders. He's from um he's from Haiti. Y'all, I mostly attract I mostly attract men that are not from America. I attract every man on every other continent but the US. Now, that's not to say I have, of course I've had US men, but mostly I had a man from um, Afghanistan the other day. No, no, no. Yeah, Afghanistan. And he was like, what part of Pakistan are your parents from? I said, do what? What part of Pakistan are like, If you don't stop it, stop it. All right, let me show y'all what I got. I don't know why I got these cheap ass jackets. All this stuff, you'll see. I'm gonna tell you how much everything costs. Everything cost me only $50. <sighs> oh, this is cute. It's gonna be cold now. Oh, this is so cute. Girl, I'm gonna look like a damn Muppet. But this is cute. Isn't this cute, y'all? This would be cute with like a cute little white snug tee. I really have I think, y'all, when you lose weight and when you used to be a bigger person, it's hard to see yourself in a different, look how big this is. I know that this is way too big for me. But, it's a zero XL. I'm not, <laughs> I have um, Napoleon syndrome. I, I, feel, I feel like I'm bigger than what I really am, but I'm not. Ooh, this is heavy. Ooh, this is like a good church. Look, this is big. Girl, look how big this damn jacket is. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Vivian, double-breasted though. This would be cute with like a, um, you know what this would be cute with? A mustard yellow tee tucked into some jeans, either white or um, dark denim and some tan boots. Yes. I sure will wear this. Thinking I'm all bit of 250. I may give this to my sister. My sister doesn't weigh 250, I don't know. Why, why do I feel like I'm this big? Why do I do this? Wait, what size is this? It's a zero XL. I feel like I'm a zero XL. I'm not, maybe I don't know what a zero XL is. Girl, look at this. Look how much, y'all can't see that. Look at that. I'm gonna go look in the mirror, hold on. Maybe, maybe it look better if I look in the mirror. I look like somebody's child that got into their daddy's closet in this. The other one I can get away with. I'm gonna give this to my sister or my mom. But see, my mom is short. My mom is shorter than I am, actually. Um, we all only an inch away from each other, but I feel like I'm way taller than them. 
girl. Now I got one more, y'all. Actually, let me put this over here. Boo Boo's gonna like this. Um, let me get into this jewelry before I get to that. These are cute. Cassette tapes. Isn't that cute? And I got this one. I think this one is like, I don't know what this is. I got this two piece. I've always wanted, you know, a two piece. Um, oh, this is wrinkly. You know how to get these wrinkles out? You wanna tell you how? The hack? Spray it with starch. Some of y'all already probably already know this. You spray your garment with starch and pop it in the um dryer for like 10 10 minutes probably not even that five minutes and our dryer actually has a wrinkle free setting Ooh, this would be cute let me try let me um try this on y'all hold on all right y'all look at this i don't have on the right undergarments hold on oh it's dark where can i put this camera at so y'all can see me all right this is cute this is a little big too, look at that. And I don't have on the right undergarments. Don't make fun of me, I ain't got no booty, I got a long booty. And I be poking it out like I, I got something lined out. And then I have the jacket. This would be a cute like early fall date night outfit. Isn't this cute? Yes, I need to definitely wear, a, um, what do you call it? I can even, since you ain't seeing the back, I can even secure that at the back like that. And I have some nude heels I can wear with this. This is cute. This is very comfortable. Oh, yes. I can sit down and eat. Let me see how I feel like if I sit down. I can eat. Be like, hey, you what you eat? What you drinking? <laughs> this is cute though, huh? This is real cute, real casual. All right, y'all. Um, Yeah, this is loose. So even if I have like, if I lift my girl, I don't, I don't wear bras anymore. But even if I lift my girls up, it's still, it's still too loose around here. So this is cute though. All right, y'all. And of course it's dragging the floor cause your girl, we ain't gonna talk about that. Um, what I'm gonna do for today? I need to go to Brookshire's, pick up my birth control, pick up some cranberry juice to go with the rest of my drink. Go pick up JB and that's my Friday. And I'll do the rest of this work in the morning because I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, let me take this off, y'all. How y'all been doing? Look. Um, I'm gonna load up this chit chat in a minute. Let me tell y'all something. I know I'm off cam. I'm gonna get on cam in a minute. Hold on. Ooh, I know y'all heard about. That shit that's going down with Tiffany Haddish and Aries. What's his name? I hope y'all didn't see that. What's his name? The other comedian. Let me tell you something. We gotta be very careful who we leave our kids with. Wrong. She already was getting on my nerves. I was already side-eyeing side her. The last time I found her funny was when she was in that play. What was that play called with um, Michelle from Destiny Show? <laughs> that play, Why Did I Get Married? Was my man, y'all know what I'm talking about. She was in the play and she was playing her friend. This was like almost 20 years ago. But I don't, I don't find her funny to me as a comedian. I never wish ill will of anybody. You don't know, have success. She's, her, she's a stereotypical funny black girl. She is... Um, which is, if that's your thing, your get up, do you. All I'm trying to say is I don't co-sign to that type of foolery. I really don't. Um, in my opinion, people are laughing at her and not with her. Um, I was done when she was at one of the, one year at the Met Gala. She brought fried chicken along in her purse. And she thought it was funny. And the person interviewing her was like, are you serious? You really brought fried chicken? And she was like, yeah, girl, got me some fried chicken. Like, stop, please stop. But anyway, they are, uh, they are being, her and Aerie Spears, big butt, are being sued by now adults who said that they were under, um, 
they were basically sexually abused. I don't know. I don't know if the allegations of sex sexual abuse or not. Um, I'm pretty sure by now YouTube has taken it away, but a couple of YouTube channels have posted this video. So basically what's happened is Aries and Tiffany had this, this video, which was more like a skit comedy thing where they were using two underage children, but the children were in inappropriate positions and the scenarios were very inappropriate for underage children, right? When I tell you that I saw like, I got to like 30 seconds of the one. You have Aries on a couch. He has a newspaper in front of him. Tiffany has this child that at first she was holding. And I'm like, why is she holding this big ass child? This child just has his underwear on. And all of a sudden he puts, this is gonna make me upset. He puts the child, she puts the child on the floor and the child is is moving around on the ground. In my, I was like, this is disgusting, it's inappropriate, this shit is not funny. And then with the other girl, the other um, child, excuse me, I believe she was 14 at the time of the video. I guess, I don't know all the details and I know I shouldn't talk about it, but from what I understand is that she was asked to pretend like she was eating a sandwich while moaning and groaning. Basically, in simulating fellatio or in simulating sexual nature when you're 14 years old. So at one point, I guess the little boy, didn't he didn't want to do it anymore. And Tiffany was like, why are you doing all this crying? You ain't never gonna make it in Hollywood. You know what I think? I think that's a bunch of bullshit one, excuse my language, two. I think that they make that video for those in the industry who are into child pornography. We know it's big and, and Holly, weird Hollywood. We know it's a big thing. The mother is absolutely to blame as, as well as Tiffany and Aries swole ass. And just, I just don't think, I just don't know why people don't see how this could have an effect on a small child as they grow up. I want to get back into being a little bit more consistent with my um with my content but my personal life is just so crazy right now y'all it just is and honestly y'all not checking for hair videos like i used to no y'all really are actually y'all are because my hair videos still get way more views than my other content so i do appreciate that so anyway y'all that is it for this video baby y'all take care have a good weekend have a good friday drink your drink girl <laughs> all right y'all take care bye